Hi guys, welcome to my latest tech friend channel. Qualcomm recently unveiled new processor Snapdragon 730 on AI Day in San Francisco along with Snapdragon 665 and 730G processors. We have already seen Snapdragon 675 and Redmi Note 7 Pro. This processor offers great performance with decent specs. In future, we are going to see so many smartphones with this new Snapdragon 730 processor as well as Snapdragon 675. Let's see how Snapdragon 675 processor stand in competition with Snapdragon 730 processor. Without any further delay, let's get started. Coming to the first and foremost important aspect is the CPU. In terms of CPU, Snapdragon 730 uses two powerful Cryo 470 cores which are based on ARM Cortex A76 architecture, clocked at 2.2 GHz and 6 power efficient Cryo 470 cores which are based on ARM Cortex A55 clocked at 1.8 GHz. On the other hand, Snapdragon 675 also has similar kind of 2 plus 6 core combination setup along with same frequencies, but the core used in Snapdragon 675 is based on Cryo 460. Both these processor CPUs are extremely good, but the Cryo 470 cores which are used in Snapdragon 730 slightly edges the Snapdragon 675 because of its optimization. Coming to the second important aspect is the GPU. Nowadays, gaming becomes a craze among all sorts of people across the globe. Companies are spending billions of dollars to make the gaming experience rich and fluid. Let's see what this process offers in terms of GPU. The Snapdragon 730 has Adreno 618 GPU, for which Qualcomm claims 25% improvement as compared to its previous generation mid-range process GPU. On the other hand, Snapdragon 675 has Adreno 612 GPU. We have already seen this GPU performance in Redmi Note 7 Pro. We can play the heavier games like PUBG, Asphalt 9 etc without any lag with buttery smooth performance. Though both GPUs are good, Snapdragon 730 new Adreno 618 GPU slightly adjusts Snapdragon 675 Adreno 612 GPU. Third aspect is the connectivity. Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 processor modem supports Category 15 or Category 13 transceiver which supports downloading and uploading speeds at 800 and 150 Mbps respectively. And this modem also features Bluetooth 5.0, GPS etc. But in terms of Wi-Fi, Snapdragon 730 supports Wi-Fi 6. Yes, you heard it right, Snapdragon 730 is the first mid-range device to support Wi-Fi 6, which offers downloading speeds at 10 Mbps. I have already made a dedicated video on Wi-Fi 6, if you are interested you can check the cards or description for the video link. On the other hand, Snapdragon 675 processor modem supports Category 12 and 13 with speeds at 600 and 150 Mbps respectively. This processor also features Bluetooth 5.0, dual band Wi-Fi, GPS etc. In this aspect, Snapdragon 730 wins with additional support of Wi-Fi 6 etc. Another aspect is the artificial intelligence. AI become become must feature in today's smartphones. Every processor coming nowadays consists of separate AI engine and neural processing units for scene and object detections and low light photography. Let's see what this process offers in terms of AI. As the Qualcomm announced these chips on AI day, so we can expect tons of AI features in Snapdragon 730. The Snapdragon 730 consists of Hexagon 688 DSP with tensor accelerated support which is a beast in terms of AI. The AI performance score for Snapdragon 730 is 1240 GMAX. The GMAC is a DSP performance measure unit which stands for Giga Multiply Accumulates per Second. Qualcomm claims that Snapdragon 730A performance is twice as compared to previous generation processors. On the other hand, Snapdragon 675 features Hexagon 685 DSP with its performance numbers 614 GMAX. In terms of EA, there is a huge difference. We can expect tons of EA features in Snapdragon 730. The Image Signal Processing Qualcomm uses Spectra 350 ISP in Snapdragon 730 which supports for single 36 megapixel camera support and dual 22 megapixel cameras. It's worth mentioning that both these new processors support 48 megapixel and 192 megapixel snapshots. Qualcomm recently added this 192 megapixel snapshot support to all upper mid-range and flagship category processors. In video department, Snapdragon 730 processor ISP supports 4K 30 frames per second. This is the only processor which supports video bokeh at 4K in mid-range. We have already seen this kind of feature in Kirin 980 and Snapdragon 855 processors. 
This ISP also supports HDR10 video capturing, computer vision processing and HAI file format etc. Snapdragon 730 will be the first mid-range processor to support these advanced ISP features which we generally see in flagship processor category. On the other hand, Snapdragon 675 has Spectra 250L which supports single 25 megapixel cameras or dual 16 megapixel camera support. This ISP also features 48 megapixel 192 megapixel snapshot. In video department, it supports 4K at 30 frames per second. Both processor ISPs are good, but Snapdragon 730 ISP support for video bouquet, HDR10 capturing support combined with AI processing easily outperforms Snapdragon 675. RAM and Storage RAM and Storage play an important role in device performance. People generally think that if CPU and GPU are powerful, then our device performs good. But it doesn't matter how fast your CPU or GPU is, if RAM or internal storage takes forever to find the data, we need to process. I've already made a dedicated video on RAM and storage technologies like LPDDR5 RAM and UFS 3.0 storage. In that video, I have explained how much they impact our smartphone performance. If you are interested, you can check the cards or video description. In terms of RAM and storage, both these processes support LPDDR4X RAM and UFS 2.1 storage respectively. Both these processes are evenly matched in this aspect. The final aspect is the fabrication process. Snapdragon 730 comes with 8 nanometer fabrication process, whereas Snapdragon 675 goes with 11 nanometer process. In terms of low power, Snapdragon 730 wins. In overall, Snapdragon 730 wins in almost all aspects as compared to Snapdragon 675. You guys saw both these process specs and what they offer. Be a judge, which one do you think is the best processor? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That's it for now in this video. I hope you find this video informative in understanding Snapdragon 730 and 675. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.